Hello everyone, it's the Maze Man from Roblox. This is a Roblox game feature tutorial. This time, how to make a game pass give plus 100 points multiple times. This is seen in Roblox Titanic and Industrial Gladiators. Here's how it works in the consumer perspective. You buy the game pass, enter the game, wait for Roblox to notice you have the game pass, then you'll get 100 points, a GUI will pop up and tell you, then once you want 100 more points, you can delete the game pass, refresh or join the game reset until Roblox realizes you don't have the game pass anymore. It will tell you that you can now buy the game pass again to gain 100 more points. So then if you buy the game pass again, join or wait for Roblox to notice you have the pass, then you can get 100 points again and you can repeat that as many times as you want. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the major parts of this feature. If a player has a game pass, add 100 points. How to use saved and load bool values to make this happen how to stop a player from getting more than 100 points unless they buy the game pass again, dealing with game pass transaction times, and using GUI buttons instead of constant loop checks. Here I am in Industrial Gladiators, the GUI interface when it's being edited. If I go over here, the tool GUI, if I go to points teller, it's how you can buy 100 points in the text. See, now it's visible and it's selected right here buy plus 100 points. If you click this, it uses the prompt service to allow you to buy the game pass in-game. Now, if I click on get points, this is what happens when you buy the game pass but you haven't gotten your points yet. It will say get plus 100 points. If you click this and you haven't already gotten 100 points, then you will get 100 points and then you can't click it again because it will go visible false. Now, what happens after that is the can get more. It says get more points. If you click this, it will tell you to delete the game pass so you can rejoin, and then it will later show you how to get 100 more points. The reason I use GUIs here for the get 100 points and the get more points and stuff is because using constant loops to check values and if the player has a game pass is, more, is less efficient. Plus, you only want to run code if the player actually needs it to be run. Now that the GUI stuff is out of the way, we can go actually see the code for this. In the buy GPS script, which stands for buy game passes, it has functions for all of the game passes that you can buy. For example, here's the can get more function, here's the get points function, and here's the points teller function. I'll go over them one at a time. First we start out with the points teller function. But to understand this one, we need to know what this variable is. So, we go into the leaderboard script. Local PGP equals instance.new pool value, and its name is points G GP, which stands for points game pass. It goes into the new player. This is the bool value that can tell if the player has received the 100 points yet or not. Going back to the points teller function, we now know that when you prompt purchase, it automatically makes this false, which means the player hasn't received 100 points yet. This code runs whenever a player resets, joins, or enters the server. If the user has the badge, Hundy Points, which is the ID of the game pass, user has badge can detect game passes, same as player has pass. If the player's points GP value is false, which means they haven't received 100 points yet, then what it does is it makes the get points visible true. So this is the GUI where you can get points. It will literally give you points. Otherwise, it makes, it makes the rest false, and if you have received 100 points, then it says already got points, and it says can get more dot visible equals true. Otherwise, if you don't have the game pass at all when you respawn, it will make the points teller GUI true, and that is the one that prompts the purchase. Moving on to the get points to clicked function, this is the final check for if the player has not received points yet. If it's false, then it gives the player points in this line and it makes the bool value that's saved true so the player can't click again until it's false. A GUI pops up and says plus 100 points and then another one says you received 100 points for buying the game pass plus 100 points. This one is stationary, this one moves up and then it moves down. In a later video I can show you how to make a GUI that moves up and down and then disappears or a stationary GUI that you have to click to remove. If you manage to click on this GUI again when you already have the points GP value as true, it will show you this, 
you already received 100 points. This shouldn't happen because it makes the GUI false right after you click it, but just in case I have it there. Lastly is the can get more GUI function. This can only be clicked on if the player owns the game pass because that's what the on spawn script says, that this is visible. So it says basically the same thing twice. And so basically this might be a pointless line, but I have it there anyway and it works, so I'm not gonna change it. I use these GUIs to explain to players who don't know that Roblox takes multiple minutes or multiple rejoins or tries to register game passes. This is how I deal with Roblox game pass transaction time. I hope you found this tutorial helpful enough so that you can use it in one of your own games. Make a game pass and make it so people can buy it multiple times. It's a really great way of getting extra revenue from people who really like your game and really want more points or more items or something. Thanks for watching a Roblox game tutorial on how to make a game pass give you plus 100 points multiple times if the player buys the game pass multiple times.